Hey yo pretty people and welcome to Foil Stack. My name is LoyXP and today we're gonna do something absolutely amazing. We're gonna... What? Okay, notice to the colony. Let's see. Attention colonists, it comes to our attention that taxes have gone unpaid. Wait, what taxes? Isn't this place supposed to be like... Uh, the free people of the colony or something like that. Vast wealth and pers personal features, okay, that's one typo, have been squirreled away by the colonies for their personal gain in conflict with the fair distribution of wealth act sub subsection B clause 3 all wealth shall be unfairly redistributed to the server admins who reside in the homeland that is spawn island to be up to be used for the betterment of spawn and themselves. Uh, this is hereby notice of repossession of a horde recently discovered at the home of one Phineas Rage and his future call to trial for theft of state goods. We also inform you that the state tax yada yada something something. Okay. Okay. They want to make us pay. Well, I ain't paying nobody. Big surprise, I know. Uh, but, uh, you know, with me being like kinda criminal, uh, a runaway, I kinda have my own ways of uh, dealing with some legal stuff, that, like taxes or, I don't know, uh, other legalities of the full stack. So, let's say. A tax. What? 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 What exactly is a tax? A tax is when uh, a citizen has some kind of income, right? And some percentage of that income goes to the state. Okay. But uh, the percentage is basically calculated from the in income itself, which means that if there's no income, absolutely no income. You see it then there's not no percentage the, the percentage of a zero is always a zero no matter what so I have this handy 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 secret room with a handy secret chest ready to be there for as they said repositioning just repositioning some wealth to the better hands and if anybody asks you saw nothing. You hear me? You saw nothing. And I'm gonna tell the anime angel that if he tells anybody about my uh, secret passage, I'll kill him and everything he cares about. Though, then again, he is a pretty cool interior decorator, which means that he has to be like very serious about his client's uh, secrecy and privacy and stuff. So, now that we we did that, now that uh, that's dealt with, I have an episode to fill, right? Um, what's... I had a plan for this episode. Okay, I, I, I need a quick uh, previously on full stack, right now. Previously on full stack. And I'm really happy with how, with how this looks, yeah. Uh, next episode we're gonna walk on some graves, we're gonna walk on the crypt. So, I guess we're walking on the cemetery today. Cemetery part 2. Let's do this. But before we do, uh, let me get, get a tiny bit sidetracked uh, here. Just because there's something strange in the neighborhood. Something strange and it actually does look pretty cool. Check this out. This is a work of ever awesome Nick Nasty. Can you imagine that? He actually based this build on somebody else's build, but that doesn't really matter when you create something that massive in pure survival. Well, it's not kind of pure survival. I honestly, I don't consider full stack pure survival because of the amazing amount of farms we have here. But still, if you ask me, this is quite an accomplish accomplishment to create. So, yeah, he actually asked me if I wanted a church next to my cemetery, so I said, of course I want. He didn't kind of warn me about uh, 
the scale though. But I, I guess we can work with this. I, I guess we can figure this, this stuff out later. So, uh, now that we're done being sidetracked, let's get to the cemetery itself. First of all, the grace. You guys were absolutely awesome. Let me look into your pretty eyes. You pretty people were absolutely amazing. You actually suggested a ton of uh, cool names. And by that I mean like around three grays. But the, the amount of names was actually pretty pretty high. I was surprised. And uh, yeah, I, I really would love to have some more if you if you care. So if you care, if you have some ideas, please leave a comment down below. Please tell me, how, not not down below, down below, be, below the video. Um, Please tell me, because there's some quite fun suggestions from the audience uh, on the previous episode. Like, in example, uh, he lies lofty, tell my wife I said hello. That was suggested by, by Inifon, and that's actually a Futurama reference. So, kudos. Um, this was once suggested by Anime Angel 11. He lies Anime Angel, Angel 11, I decided to bury him just in case. Um, death by joining full stack Skype chat. Yep, that's pretty much uh, says it all. Then again, somebody from the comment section suggested John Doe death by the Derpy Cow syndrome. I have no idea if that's a reference, if that's anything. I just thought, thought that it sounded absolutely uh, ridiculous, which is why I decided to put it on the grave. I'm pretty sure at some point when I die uh, on my grave there will be something absolutely ridiculous from my quotes from my episodes. Something about here lies slow XP. Nah, I, I, I can't even come up with my own gravestone. Now, for today's build, for today's part of the cemetery, we're gonna go with the crypt. Now, uh, for the crypt we have all of those materials. Some of this junk and absolutely empty chest just in, just because I felt like making it symmetrical. Uh, the footprint is around like this, though I'm not promising anything just because I will be kind of building this by the memory. So you feel that uh, twitch in your that you know the beat in your butt whenever you whenever you hear a catchy music song. So I'm feeling it. Let's do the time lapse. Well, this took not as long as I expected. Oh, yeah, right. That's just one wall. Never mind. Alright you guys, uh, so I'm not exactly a crypt expert, or am I, but I feel like from the outside it looks pretty cool, but from the inside, yeah, not as much. Honestly, if I were built in here, I would probably be pissed, which means that we have to tidy this place up. Maybe put some pillows, you know, for a more comfortable look. Maybe put some uh, actual graves, maybe some coffins. And actually, you know what, let's go with coffins. 
let, let's at least try it. Okay, so, as we all know, coffins in Minecraft are pretty simple if you know how to do them, but again, no crypt, ex uh, no crypt expert, or am I? But uh, I guess something like that would probably look cool enough. Though, uh, we could go an extra mile and if we put a crafting table and create some chests, you know, go a pretty popular way and actually put some chests uh, instead of coffins and maybe even some remains inside of said chests. So, yeah. Let's just hope it will look pretty cool. And again, as I mentioned in earlier episodes, I really want this to be an actual entrance to a secret passage down there to the to the dungeon with zombies and all that stuff. Which means that we don't really get to uh, to decorate that much, just because uh, we need some place for the secret passage for the piston door. And uh, on the other hand, on the other hand. I don't really remember crypts being such a big deal ever since uh, pharaohs aren't around. Uh, which means that we can probably try and uh, semi half it. Perfectly, perfectly it would be uh, two long chests sticking around and all the... all of the floor would be surrounded like somehow like this except maybe here and one more thing that I would do I guess uh, I could try and create and put half slabs for the floor so this way I get to not spawn all the mobs while uh, keeping the light level pretty pretty far below but before we go before we try out all of said stuff let's try out something else Something I kinda stolen from uh, my buddy Pixel Reef, but not really since he didn't really uh, show it. But I guess armor stands are more of his deal. So this is some my equivalent of uh, high-end torches. Of course, it would be perfect if I would uh, actually push them inside of the torch with a piston or something like that. But I don't really feel like doing it right now, so let's see, one block away, one this way, one this way, and ta-da, so, yeah, it looks semi-decent from the uh, entrance, let's see how it looks with the old other lights turned on, turned off, I'm sorry, yeah, it kind of gives too much of a... Uh, lighting though on a moody lighting setting it kind of looks all right so nevertheless i'm still i'm still uh, filling the floor in with some half slabs why well because i'm kind of afraid that some creeper will spawn and blow this all up so let's quickly put the torches back for now and i'll be back with the finished product so you guys ready for the grand reveal bam yeah, I admit, it's not that uh, spectacular, not as, not nearly as spectacular as I would wish, but uh, that's kind of all I came up with for today, and uh, yeah, I kind of think that it would fit if I uh, could create some kind of candelabra uh, hanging from the up there, just to fill out uh, all of this empty space. But uh, yeah, it's actually quite a nice build. It's uh, pretty cozy for what it, what it is. Now all that is left is to kind of hook up some kind of so stone wizardry. So when you, in example, open a certain coffin, you fall fall down into the dungeon, and then you have to uh, kind of make your way out of there uh, while f also fighting some mobs but uh, yeah that's kind of gonna be it for today let's check it out from the outside once again in the well i was hoping that it will be a 
full moon that it's half moon today so yeah in half moon next uh, to the, to my amazing evil tower I absolutely love this view let's actually get a screenshot of that that's gonna be my epic thumbnail for today so what I want from you guys what I want from you guys all of those people all of those all of those grays need names that's one thing if you have any ideas for the crypt itself for the interior please let me know tweet at me if you don't want to comment on the video because at ZloyXP I'm pretty accessible I'm pretty talkative so I'm easy to contact and next full stack episode that will probably be not as long is the making and as this one we're gonna walk on this area and we're gonna place a pretty fountain here so make sure to subscribe make sure to leave a like for this video if you enjoyed it my name has been Zloy XP thank you everybody ever so much for watching see you next time bye bye